going to be doing a get ready with me. Um, I'll just kind of talk through what I'm doing. Just kind of wanted to show y'all how I do my makeup when I'm going out. Um, and as I do my makeup, we'll chit chat a little bit and talk about where I'm going and uh, you know my plans for the evening and all that. Anyways, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Okay, first I'm gonna go in with the um, NARS uh, All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Oh, I almost said that right. All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I guess I did. Um, I'm gonna be mixing these two colors. I don't, okay, this is a light for, this one doesn't have the, um, it doesn't have the sticker on the bottom, but uh, this one's light for DeVille and then this one's a, a tad darker. So I'm gonna be mixing those two. So um, I'm getting ready to go to, um, a local beauty pageant here um, kind of a cool story my daughter Ada um, well first of all let me back up a little bit we um, just squeezing out my beauty blenders back here I had my husband get them wet for me and yeah they're like soaking wet <laughs> I gotta squeeze them out anyway um, he's so sweet he helps me so much so uh, anyways my daughter Ada, uh, we were all in a car accident about a year ago. Ada had to spend some time in the hospital and she had to have surgery and she was immobile for about a month. And Ada's a very, um, like she has a very like caregiving type personality, but I just think her, her herself spending some time in the hospital really just, um, I don't know, gave her a compassion for other kids that have to spend time in the hospital. So, um, she recently has been coming across the St. Jude commercials on YouTube because she watches YouTube all the time and she literally will like watch these commercials and cry and ask me and beg me, mommy, can we do something? And so I thought, you know what, if she has a compassion for something like this, then I need to, um... I need to do something. I need to help her out with it. I'm now going in with the Be Bright um, concealer by um, Koki Cosmetics. Um, it's a new brand at Walmart. I'm going in with the shade Fair. This is currently my favorite drugstore concealer. So anyway, um, you know, I thought I needed to, I wanted to help her. And so I just kind of posted a few times on Facebook and we've had several people reach out to us um, saying that, you know, they wanted to help. And so we've got a few things going on right now to where Ada is doing fundraisers to where, um, and I'm just blending, I'm blending that in with my beauty blender here. Um, so she, uh, we've got a fundraiser going right now for Ada to be able to collect toys and also donate money to her hospital of choice. And hopefully when we get the toys collected, we'll be able to go into a hospital and deliver toys to children that are in the hospital. Um, and so tonight we are going to a local beauty pageant here because one of the people that reached out to us is competing in this beauty pageant. And if she wins tonight, she is wanting to partner with Ada, which we're calling her cause, um, hugs from Ada. And, um, she's wanting to partner with her and, um, you know, for whatever, whatever we're able to do she wants to help so um we're going to support her and also um kind of sparked an interest in me i've never th thought about being a pageant mom or like putting my daughter in pageants or anything like that but when this mom of the girl who's competing tonight reached out to me she said you know my daughter would like to help and if she wins this will be her platform and i thought oh my gosh i never even thought about like maybe even putting ada in pageants um, to give her a platform to do more stuff like this. I mean, there's a lot of good that pageants can do. I mean, they, you know, help you to build your self-esteem. They help you to, um, talk in front of people, you know, um, have confidence on stage, all that kind of stuff, which I think everybody needs that. So I don't see anything wrong with it. And our local pa pageants here aren't like super, um, you know, intense or anything like that. 
So um, we're kind of going tonight to also check it out to see if maybe Ada, you know, we can get her involved. I'm using our the Hourglass Ambient Lighting in uh, Powder and Diffused Light to set under my eyes. This is just like a little sample size. I'm still trying it out to see if I like it. I've had it for a while now. I like it. Um, I don't know. I think I might have some other powders that I like better, but this powder is pretty good. I've even used it like all over my face to set. I like it for that. So now I am going to go all over um, to set, and I am using my um, Almost Powder Makeup by Clinique Powder in the shade 03 Light. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just kind of calling it a girl's night, and we're going to support a friend. And um, I'm using the e.l.f. powder brush. I just got this today. Um, I saw somebody on YouTube that had this brush and they were like it feels like a luxury brush it's so nice and actually it's really soft it's very nice so i just got this today at target i like it it's very it's pretty big but it's very soft feeling so yeah so that's what we've got going on and um i'm excited for ada i'm excited i'm proud of her you know for having such a big heart and um, just showing that she cares about people. I love that and I want to do everything I can to um, help to nurture that in her, you know, because I think sometimes when things happen to you, when you go through certain things, especially as a young child, that can like spark um, passions and kind of your calling in life. And I'm not saying that I know I've never, I never try to like push my kids into doing anything other than be themselves. But when I see my kids are passionate about something, I also want to, um, sorry, I just got this bronzer too. This is from, um, Too Faced. It's the sweet tea bronzer. Um, someone else on YouTube had recommended it and I was like, Oh, I need to get that. Um, so we'll be trying that out today. So I'm going to go ahead and warm up my face with uh, the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer. But anyways, anytime I see my kids, um, you know, have a passion for something and it's something that they're interested in, not something that we're pushing them into doing, then, um, then I, I need, you know, it's my job as a parent to help them. So that's what we're doing with Ada. This has all been her idea and it wasn't just a one-time thing where... She was like, oh, I, I want to see kids in the hospital. I mean, this has been several times over watching her shed several tears. And um, to the point where I thought, I cannot let my daughter cry over a St. Jude commercial another day and have her beg me to do something um, without me doing something. So that's what we're doing. And um, we'll see where it goes. We'll see you know, where this passion and this desire takes her. I don't think you're ever too young to do something that you're passionate about. Um, and I also want to nurture that in my kids too, to let them know that even though she's five years old, she can do something that she's passionate about. So, um, it's pretty exciting. Okay. So just warmed up the face with the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer. Now I'm going to go ahead and start working on my eyes. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Aqua XL um, eyeshadow. I'm going to be using this as a base for my shadow today. Um, I have two of these. I have a sample of like a brown color of one of these. It's going to be the first time I'm using it, but I'm going to go in with that too. So I'm just going to grab my little mirror here so I can get closer in and actually see what I'm doing so I don't mess up how do y'all do y'all's makeup do y'all like sit at a vanity and do it do you do it standing up like in your bathroom that's how i've always done it until i got this little vanity set up just here recently and then sometimes you know if i'm out and about and i didn't have time to like put my makeup on at home i'll use a mirror like this Okay, now for my base, I am going to be going in with the Maybelline Single Eyeshadow um, in, this is in Linen. I'm going to pull out my MAC um, 227 brush here. 
and go in with that. I love, love, love this eyeshadow. When you swatch it, it really does not look like it's gonna be anything, but if you have a base on and you put this over top of it, I almost love that it's thinner um, than like even some of my more high-end eyeshadows because if I already have a base on, I don't wanna be putting a thick powder on top of it, so this just gives like a sheer wash and kind of sets that base in place so that when I go in with my other layers of eyeshadow, I'm not just like piling tons and tons of cakey layers on. And now I'm going to, where's that little one? I'm gonna go in with this one here. I'm a little nervous about it because I'm gonna be putting a like a liquid cream on top of my powder, so we'll see how it goes. But even if it's a little messy, um, it's okay because I'll go in and blend it out with the shadow that I'm using. So this one's in the color um, M56. Doesn't have a name, I don't think, as far as I can tell. Ooh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. It's pretty messy. Hmm. Oh, no. Probably shouldn't have tried to do this for the first time on camera. But it's okay, it'll give us a good base. And now y'all will see how I fix my makeup when I totally mess it up. Mm, I don't know about this, guys. This might be a little bit messy towards the end, I don't know. Okay, well, anyways, we're gonna go with it. That's what we got to work with. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox um, Photo Matte Eyes Palette. I'm not even sure if this is still available. Um, I saw it went on sale not too long ago and I thought, oh no, if it's going on sale, that means it's going away, so. But anyways, I love this palette. I am going to be going in with um, this color right here, this is the most pretty, like, purplish plum color right here. So I'm going to be going in with that. I'm going to go back in with um, some of this to cover up some of how, see how it's coming down on the lid a little bit and see if I can cover some of that up. Oh yeah, that worked really well to clean the eyeshadow up. To clean my mess up on the lid. I'm just gonna clean off this brush here that I'm using and I'm gonna go in and blend really well. Okay. 
And now I'm gonna go in with this Milani um, liquid eyeliner. This is their Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Wear Liner. I love this eyeliner. It is my new found favorite eyeliner ever. It dries really matte, it's super black. It's just beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs. This is um, in Blacker Berry. And I don't know what this is called, but it's like their smaller, thinner liner. Their other eyeliners are a little bit bigger, but this is for um, doing the waterline area. And it is in like a plum color which if y'all know me you already know like I'm obsessed with plum colors red colors purple colors for blue eyes for blue eyes and green eyes I just think it makes them pop I just love it hazel eyes too even brown eyes um purple to me because my eyes are blue I feel like purple is the only color that or like the plum color or whatever that I can really play with with my eyes. If you have brown eyes, you can play with color like any color that you want. So, um, but I love using purple. I think it looks so pretty on blue eyes and just makes them pop. Okay, so we've done the eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. Okay. All right, I'm gonna be using my Sephora um, brow, uh, the Brow Precision brush in 2.0. My brows are even naturally darker than my natural color hair, so. Okay guys, another thing I'm gonna go in with, I usually do this at the beginning, but I kind of forgot. Um, so I'm gonna be going in with two different lip plumpers. This is the Lip Plump Extreme by, um, I was gonna say Benefit, but it's not Benefit. It is, who is this by? Soap and Glory, sorry, was blanking out. I'm gonna go in with some of that. just so my lips are a little bit bigger for when I go in with my lipstick. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss and this is in the shade, it's their nude one. Um, I don't see a name, but it's their more like nude, like the lightest color. And this isn't what I'm gonna ultimately wear on my lips, I'm just doing it for lip plumping purposes. But I've noticed when you mix this with the extreme lip, your lips get really full. So I'm gonna let that sit there for a little bit, let my lips plump up a little bit. And now I'm gonna go in with um, my lash, Renegade Mascara. This is from Wet n Wild.
Okay, next I am going to go in with my eyeshadow glue and I'm gonna let it sit on my eyes a little bit while I wait for um, it to, I'm gonna put the eyelash glue on, I'm gonna wait for it to dry and while I do that I'll finish doing my lips. burning now I'm gonna wipe the plumping stuff off my lips and since the lip plumper makes my lips pretty red I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of concealer I'm gonna put a little bit on my lips just to blot out some of the color because my lips get like super red and I don't like that mixing in with the color that I'm gonna use So, I know a lot of people don't like this kind of thing, like putting concealer on your lips. And if you don't like it, you definitely don't have to do it. I just don't personally like the natural color of my lips. I don't think it mixes well with, um, I don't think it mixes well with other lipsticks. And I just never like the way it looks. So, I've always done this and it's just what I like. So, it's what I do. Okay, and so for my lips. I kind of got to hurry here because I got to get those lashes on. Um, I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs lipstick in, um, what is this? In 106 Moody Margit. And this is one of their more like sheer lipsticks. It's kind of like a lip balm type. Oh my gosh, but it's so, so beautiful. And I'm not going to line the lips or anything with this color. Going on straight. Uh, just going on straight with the lipstick. I love me a good nude lip. Alright. And last but not least, I'm going to be going in with the Salon Perfect Eyelashes. These are in um, 615. These are the 615s. Kind of like a Bambi type effect. They really like make your eyes open. Super pretty. Okay, and finally to top it all off, I am going to go in with this Stila um, Liquid Metal or Magnificent Metal Glitter in um, Smoldering Satin. Oh yeah, and the very last thing, <laughs> keep forgetting things here. Okay, and so for highlight, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia uh, Moonchild Palette. I'm gonna go in with this pur purple horseshoe color. And I'm going to spritz my face with this Ready Set Radiant Spray from Tarte. And to lock it all in, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Spray. And so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hope to have a blast with my baby girl tonight. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.